So nach fünf Stunden warten, haben wir nicht geschafft. Death sind hier. Wir haben schon nicht mehr dran geglaubt. Wir wollten uns eigentlich um 8 Uhr treffen. Hier in Tampa, Florida. Inzwischen geht es auf 2 Uhr zu langsam. Äh, wir sind alle total durchgeschwitzt, sitzen im Hinterhof des Hauses von John Schaefer von Iced Earth, des Gitarristen, der uns hier netterweise ein bisschen ausgeholfen hat. Wir wollten eigentlich im Morris Sound Studio filmen. Das ist heute aber leider zu. Deshalb also hier. Ähm, die Band neben mir, wie gesagt, Death. Die meisten von euch werden bis jetzt nur Chuck kennen, den Leader der Band. Um, die anderen Leute stellen sich am besten selbst mal vor. You want to introduce yourself? Paul Moss Vidal. Uh, climbing inside the eyelash of a distant fear. What's that? That's just a, a, a way of explaining my moment, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Scott Carino Bass, fishing is God. Sean Reiner, drums, and, uh, yeah. Chuck Schaliner, psychotic monster. <laughs> okay. Um, I think maybe we get the inconvenient stuff out of the way first. Sure. Yeah? yeah? It's okay. So let's, 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 let's talk about the European disaster, right? Yeah. So why, why didn't you make it to Europe? What is, what is the reason behind it? Okay. Well, there's many reasons. Some personal, some not. Um, there were a lot of stressful things going on in my life at the time. I felt like I needed to get away and look at things from a different perspective. And unfortunately, it was at a very inconvenient time. Um, it made me look really bad, which I understand, you know, why people would think bad things. But, you know, I had to do what I had to do for certain reasons. It improved my outlook on life in a lot of ways. I learned a lot from the mistakes that I might have made. But, you know, I feel everything happened for a purpose. And all I can do is say I'm looking forward to making it to Europe finally. And I hope people show up and, you know, support the music. And, you know, that's, that's about it. I mean, you, you know that um, a lot of people... Um, I'm fed up with the band right now. Mm -hmm. Right in Germany, there's a lot of people pissed off. Mm -hmm. So you got to win them back somehow. Sure. Uh, yeah? I think this, I think it comes down to the music and the people who are disappointed, they're going to hear an album that I think might change their mind about me and the band in general. I think it, people should buy music, should buy records and support bands for the music. And talking about statements, talking about rumors, uh, one of it was that um, you're not into this death metal thing at all anymore and that you wanted to do different music. That's what the guys in Massacre, for example, told us. Mm -hmm. So uh, I d I've listened to the new record and that's, that's not so different to me. So, yeah, so how, how did they come up with that? Um, I don't know. I think there were um, people who were desperate to ruin my name because I did things that upset them. I really, you know, can't help what I had to do at that certain point in my life. Obviously, I, we have an album coming out that defies what people might have said. You know, I'm not a, a bad person, whatever. If people want to say I want to play rock, then I'm whatever. I'll be more than happy to prove them wrong. Personally, I think the new Death record is the most solid and most overall covering every edge on Chuck's uh, like I, I what he would like to interpret the music as and finally hear it at its uh, a monumental monumental statement for it or something well, last question important most important of all will this band make it to Europe yeah. at last oh you sure yeah, yeah? Exactly. what if what if, what if not what if not come back in another life as an acorn <laughs> and I would suck <laughs> seriously no this is serious thing I, I mean you know I know people are thinking well he's just saying it and he's not gonna show up that's not the fact R I don't care what people said about me in your pal suppose that I don't care about my fans I want to play in a pussy rock band that's bullshit I'm out to prove people wrong the album will prove people wrong I care about people who, obviously, if people didn't buy our albums, if I didn't care about those people, then I'd be nowhere. I'd still be whatever. In a garage, yeah, you know, I would have died out a long time ago. I appreciate what people do for me. I appreciate any help I ever get. I appreciate people's support. And whatever, you know, we'll be in Europe. 
people need to come out yeah real soon the album's coming out October 8th hopefully worldwide at the same time so whatever you know we'll be there we're there to put on a good show and I'll be more than happy to speak with anybody and you know if they have any questions uh, so far everything's been fantastic we've had a great time I think the festivals have been really organized very well the crowds have been great and I think very understanding considering all the chaos that's gone on you know over the past year and stuff well the crowd turnout has been like double what's in the united states and sicker just totally slamming the whole time and totally getting into it i think the crowds here are a lot more die hard than in america definitely less violent yeah less like. violent like they they let people in with bottles here they wouldn't let people in with bottles in america that's for sure. Um, what happened to that ring that you followed you? I mean, you brought it back to the city? Well, ho ho hopefully we'll, we'll get our deal negotiated as to where we can r record within the next couple of months and hopefully help out Chuck and get everything out, you know, flowing as to where we can do both things at the same time, you know, try to keep productive. I mean, you know, there's been no pressure for me. I totally support... Uh, their desires to, to continue their band because that's important to, you know, get out what the creativity that you have inside you. And I think Cynic's definitely full of a lot of creativity. So, I mean, when it happens, it happens. Right now, we're having a good time and the tours are going well. And I'm the type of person that just lives day by day and, and you know, I'll figure it out when it happens. 